This severe weather really rocked the capital region with strong winds and heavy rain today. This time we also had multiple tornado warnings. News 10 ABC's James De La Fuente followed the line of storms after they hit Amsterdam and then headed east. He is live with more on this latest bout with Mother Nature. James. Well, Lydia, John, that's correct. We were all the way out in Montgomery County when the first storms came through and we got our tornado alerts on our phones. But now we made it down to Greene County here in Catskill. Now just take a look at the tree behind me here on Green Street. The roots couldn't even keep it from toppling over and onto the house behind it. This is a time lapse view near exit 27 in Montgomery County. As the storm blew in, the rain clouds swirling and darkening. Ahead of the storm in Water Valite, a tree fell over from the increasing winds and crushed Zoe Wells' car. I ran to the window and then I seen it and I got up and threw my shoes on and I basically flew down the stairs to come out here and I was just in complete shock at the state of my car. The tree will be removed as well as others that could be a danger. We're going to come down and take care of that, take the other two trees down, get it all cleaned up and uh, get everybody safe again. From thunderstorms and lightning to tornado watches, this round of storms had many in the capital region on high alert. When we arrived in Amsterdam, we received a tornado alert on our phones. We found a safe place to hunker down through the storm. More tornado warnings popping up as the storm blew east. Our next stop, Greene County, Catskill. Just take a look at some of the damage here on Green Street. You can see this tree toppled into another and then crashed into this house. The wind was blowing real hard and vicious. Then all of a sudden you see the trees going back and forth. Then you notice this branch right here just goes flying over to this big tree. And then all of a sudden this tree just falls back onto this lady's house. But then you heard cracking and everything. So it was, it was kind of scary. We checked in with Long Lake Town Supervisor Clay Arsenault in the Adirondacks as they were hit pretty hard from last Sunday's storm, which caused a dam to break. They are still cleaning up after many roads were destroyed by the rushing waters, causing closures. And just moments ago, I did receive a text message from Clay Arsenault, and he says that there was little thunder and a quick shower that came through, and he says that there's no further damage up there to report at this time. So coming to you live in Catskill, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.